Welcome back. In this review, I will be comparing three Tineco stick vacuums, the A10, A11, and Pure One S12. I understand that the Pure One S11 is already available, but I haven't tested it, so I'll focus on these three for now. I did extensive tests for all three, and I'll share the results in this comparison. We'll look at their similarities, differences, and some quirks that you may want to know. Hi, I'm Garrick, and welcome to the Cordless Vacuum Guide. If it's your first time to visit this channel, please consider subscribing and tap on the bell icon to get notified when I publish new comparisons like this. For more information about all Tineco products in this review, please check the links below. In terms of design, there isn't much of a difference between these three models. All three have the same trigger, manual trigger lock, and dust cup design. In fact, the main cleaning heads of the A10, A11, and Pure One S12 are interchangeable. So just in case you already have the A10, you can purchase the cleaning head of the A11 or even the Pure One S12 and it will be backward compatible. However, the battery of the A11 will not fit in the A10. The attachments and tools are forward and backward compatible, meaning the non-powered accessories in the Pure One S12 will fit in the A10 and A11 and vice versa. The A10, A11, and Pure One S12 represent the Tineco options in the different price ranges. The A10 is their entry-level option with the most basic features and the least amount of tools. One downside with the A10 is that the non-powered tools do not have a quick release latch, so this makes it more challenging to attach and remove. The A11 is their mid-price alternative with more tools and slightly better build quality. From the A11 onwards, all Tineco stick vacuum attachments have a quick release latch. Take note that if you already own the A10, you can purchase any of the non-powered tools of the newer options and it will fit. The Pure One S12 is their premium option with the most amount of tools and the best so far in terms of quality and cleaning performance on carpet. This is the only option with the LCD screen that alerts users in real time, the battery status, power settings, potential blockages, and more. It also comes with the iLoop sensor that automatically increases power when it detects a sudden surge of dirt passing through it. Under each Tenango stick vacuum model, there is a corresponding submodel. So the difference between these submodels is the tools that come in the box. For example, the Tineco A11 Master is the more premium option that has both a soft roller and standard brush roll, while the A11 Hero only has a standard brush roll attachment. The Pure One S12 has the most number of submodels currently with 5, and of the 5, the S12M and M Lite don't have the LCD screen, while the other 3 options have it. Please check the individual product reviews in the video description for more details on how each submodel differs. In terms of size, all 3 roughly have the same length. However, the A10 is the lightest, while the Pure One S12 is the heaviest because of the larger capacity battery, bigger motor, and cleaning head. The larger battery enables the Pure One S12 to run the longest at over 51 minutes, the mid-priced A11 lasted 26 minutes and 44 seconds, and the A10 runs the shortest at just a shade over 24 minutes. And if you opt for the A11 Master or the Pure One S12, these numbers will double as these models come with two lithium-ion batteries. Take note that these figures are results with the non-powered tools attached. Here are the complete results with the main cleaning head and the non-powered tools. Next, we'll look at the cleaning test results, and these three are very close. In the Sanon hard floor test, the Pure One S12 scored the highest with an average pickup of 99.9%. The A10 did surprisingly better than the A11, picking up an average of 99.8% on two tests, while the A11 had a slightly lower score at 99.4%. I did the tests using the soft roller and standard brush roll and got the average of the two tests for the final scores. Next, we'll look at the hair wrap tests where I tested all three on 1 gram of 5 to 7 inch human hair on hard floors and carpet using the soft roller and standard brush roll. All three did very well on hard floors with the soft roller attached as hardly any hair wrap around it. However, on carpet, the results were different. The Pure One S12 did the best with hardly any hair wrapping around the brush while the A10 and A11 weren't as good. One advantage of the thicker brush roll that the Pure One S12 uses is that it resists tangles better. All three models are very close when it comes to cleaning surface dirt. The difference is so small that it is negligible. Each variant comes with a standard brush roll that will suffice in daily cleaning tasks. Higher end options have the extra soft roller attachment that is better at picking up larger bits of dirt like Fruit Loops and Cheerios. Bolt cleaning heads have rubber wheels and padding underneath that help minimize scuffing. If you are concerned with scratches on hardwood floors, then the better option would be getting the soft roller attachment which is available in the Tineco's Amazon store. If you live in a home with lots of carpet, the Pure One S12 will probably be the best option as it scored the highest in the carpet cleaning tests. It did the best in the deep cleaning test, picking up an average of 98.3% on two tests. 
the A11 comes in second with a 96.45% score, and the A10 was the last, picking up an average of 94.7%, which is still one of the best of all cordless stick vacuums in this price range. Next, we'll look at noise levels. The A10 is the noisiest based on a sound meter test with a reading of 77.7 .7 decibels at the highest setting. The A11 is a bit less noisy with a 75.4 decibel reading. Surprisingly, the Puron S12 is the least noisy option, only registering 70.4 decibels. All three have the same dust cup design with a quick release latch at the bottom that opens a trap door, but the capacity varies. The A10 has the smallest capacity at 0.4 liters, while the A11 and Puron S12 both have a 0.6 liter capacity. If you live in a larger home, the A11 and the Puron S12 may be the better option. All three stick vacuums have two filters consisting of a pre-motor filter and a post-motor HEPA filter. You'll have to clean the pre-motor filter quite often as this was how much that accumulated after I did all the cleaning tests. Depending on how often you use these vacuums and the environment you live in, you may need to clean the pre-motor filter once every one or two weeks. To wrap up this comparison, choosing between these three Teneco stick vacuums will depend on how much you're willing to spend, the type of floor you have at home, and the attachments you need. The Tineco A10 is an excellent option for people who live in a small home as it is the lightest. But the non-powered attachments of the A10 do not have a quick release latch, so it will be more challenging to attach and remove the tools. The A11 is a step up from the A10 with better overall build quality as all of the tools have a quick release latch. It has more airflow than the A10, so it will do a better job at deep cleaning carpet. The Puron S12 is the most expensive option with all the bells and whistles like the LCD screen and the iLoop sensor that regulates airflow based on the amount of dirt that passes through it. If you live in a mid-sized home with lots of carpet, this is the model that I would get since it can deep clean carpet better than the A10 and A11. Regardless of the model you choose, you can't go wrong with any of the three as each one will clean floors and areas above it thoroughly. Again, please check the reviews on my blog to see the complete results of all the tests I did. If you have any questions about these three products, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this comparison, and I'll see you in the next video.